So back again by popular demand, <laughs> Mr. Ken Knight from Ken Food TV. Yes, we did a private lesson a few months ago, yeah. which was uh, pretty well received on the channel. Yeah, people and really liked the, like the diagnostic kind of methodology. Yeah, I, I think so. And I have nothing planned. I know you have some yep. things that you want to troubleshoot. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So as, as we go along, uh, when I'm rolling at home, the, the, the group that I've got, uh, there's a fair bit of very large people who use lots of strength, lots of that. And I don't know what it is lately, you know how your game kind of moves through different phases. Mm -hmm. My game has moved into, I'm playing bottom a lot more. Yeah. Um, but then I find that, that even if I'm trying to frame and trying to take angles, that some of these people are just big enough to pick you up, move you, and flatten you out. And I can usually recover, can usually find my way to where, to where I need to be, but I certainly feel like I could be a, a hell of a lot more efficient yeah. at that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, that is the whole journey of jujitsu, being a little, try just a little, more. a little ahead. Because when those guys come at you very aggressively, you know, jujitsu is, if nothing else, an endless series of decisions that you have to make. The earlier you can make the decision that needs to happen, the easier life is. And so I suspect that as a function of your level, your decision making is just a little bit slower than it's it could be. Timing. And so let's let's look at maybe how you position yourself and what it is that you try to do. Okay. When someone passes your guard, I assume it's from the guard pass, they're sure. closing the distance, they're trying to get in there and you're trying to position. So yeah. let's have maybe have you on your back and okay. tell me what you typically do. All right, so I got past the guard, maybe aggressively, however. Yeah, so usually I'll try to, try to kind of frame out so okay. I can kind of open up options to at least frame in some knees. Okay. Or maybe pull, pull out to the other side if I have enough space. Okay. Uh, but so usually kind of that, of course, an aggressive person usually very quick to be right on top. Not, they don't waste a lot of time getting into there. Okay. Um, that's all good. That, okay. That's all good. Let me just scale up the resistance a little bit. Okay. I want to feel yeah. kind of where those gaps are that that you're, you know, sure. you're exploiting. So, you know, I'll grab through. Okay. So, let's just play a little concept here. Okay. And actually, let's reverse it. So I'll tell you the concept. The concept is that you're not gonna allow anybody into this space from your armpits to your hips, especially maybe even to your knees. You're not gonna allow anybody into this space. Okay. I don't care what you do. You're not gonna allow anyone in that space. Now, if, let's say, you're passing my guard. Actually, let's go this way. Yep. If you're passing my guard, sure. if I'm able to put my arm there and you're in, you're not really in that space because, because that's be in the way. Because you, you're, you some frame. you're not under the armpit, you're over, okay. and that's what's gonna allow me to get in here. So when I'm rolling, a lot of times I'm just closing doors. You know, I play a very defensive style of jujitsu. Yeah. Where, you know, I've got really fast guys, athletic guys, college, you know, studs and they can pass very quickly. But, so pass. Yeah. So, I wasn't even trying to, to get out. I was just trying to prevent you from you're closing everything off as well. Closing, like. closing it off. So let's just start with that. Okay. Even if it's not a technique. Sure. Per se. Right. It's just you trying I to. I, I love concepts anyway. Just, just trying to close that door. So okay. let's center you up. And then, um, yeah, we can go either direction. It's fine. We'll start, maybe start this direction. And then, well, yeah, let's do it from the pass. Okay. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come.
Okay, I want to see your knees up higher. Higher? Try to get your knee up a little higher. And let's go back a little bit. So I'm coming in. So that's the right thing. You're a little flat. You're ending up kind of here. I want to see you here. Okay. Really in deep. Okay. Yeah, so kind of almost crossed over with that upper shoulder. Almost crossed over. So then, I'm coming through. So, you're reaching up. Yeah, do I, do I want to do that or just going to go ahead and no, just gonna shut come it. away from it? We're just going to shut the door. Okay. I'll even grab my own thigh and just hide the arm and shut that because I want sure. the hook so I can flatten you. And then, you know, this is the cross face that you're preventing. So it's kind of, kind of here. Okay. Don't want to flatten you off. Don't want to flatten you off. There you go. There's any, there's any. Now you can shuck. What's that? You can shuck yourself to the back. Or oh, sure. Or the knee. Okay. Okay, go back. Even more, because I'm going that way. Okay. So I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Now let me flatten you up. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, so I'm not going to hold you too tight. But, okay. So we're here. This is the worst case scenario. Yeah. So we need to get you to your side so you can start playing the, the other game we were playing, which is that you're shutting, you know, you're, you're preventing that space from being utilized. So stage one is I need to get frame in, but I'm really trying to get the elbow in. Okay. I'm hiding that elbow. My hand is going to go flat on my chest, but I need to bridge up. Hand goes flat on the chest. Now I can punch in. Okay. Got it. I can now I'm punching in. Now this cross face is a little bit of a problem. I can reach over and begin pulling it in. Okay. Okay. And so now you're still holding on. Right. Yeah. And then you're out. It was with it by the second one. I was so high on you that, that I can yeah, tell so, you were out. So you're on your back. So stage one, in, and this should be an automatic reflex to get that elbow in into position. You're here. Okay. okay. No daylight. I can feel some daylight there. There. There you go. Okay. So now Where you're going to bridge. bridge and flat punch. Now, there, well, in small movements, you're just bucking, kind of bucking, bridging. Okay, so that was more than needed. Yes, more than needed usually, because I, I wasn't holding you tight, too tight, you're able to get through. Okay. And then I want you to gather that cross face with, oh, sure. with this arm. So position, tuck that elbow, tuck this okay. one in, tuck this one in. There you go. Bridge, punch it through. I'm gonna hold you tight now. You're just going one inch at a time, just buck. Shrug, 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 shrug. There you go. Okay. Do that one more time. Yeah. Watch that elbow. Watch that elbow. There you go. But I don't necessarily want to start to frame my body this way. No, you're just, you're just flat. You're just flat. You're just flat. This hand is going to go flat on your chest because you need to weave it through. Okay. Once you bridge, as you drop, you create a little space. Punch through. There you go. You're holding that space and a small movement. Shuck, 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 shuck. Okay. Um, a lot of times people will grab your neck because it's irresistible. So you're down. <laughs> what happens is the minute you pummel in, okay, a lot of people want to do this. Okay. Sure. You have to be ready to retract your head like a turtle, shrug your shoulders up, and just shut yourself through. The minute, I like it when people try to grab my neck because they just give me a lane. Just give some space. Give me a lane to get out. So punch in, punch in. I'm gonna grab. Okay. Yeah, a, little, a little quicker, really retract. Quicker and really get yeah. that head strong. Yeah, do it to me. Here. Here you go. Okay. Just gotta grab my head. Yep. 
Okay, so as soon as you feel that arm, you're even using the arm. I'm going to pull that. Kind of shooting that through. Okay. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that timing was good. It's a timing thing. Yeah, I just gotta wait for that moment. Yeah, because I always pull flat and I always feel like I leave way too much. You, you leave a Is it just pulling it up more so that it's on top? It's kind of... It's actually in can only go so far. You're trying to dig it under the rib cage if you can, into the soft part of the, the belly in there. Okay. So it's just... I and mean, that's about the only place where you can tuck that elbow into the soft spot under the ridge. Uh, gotcha. under the, under Do you the find you need to kind of like let these shoulders come forward to help with that? Um, I don't. Um, you know, you're just going to have, everyone's built a little sure. differently. You're just going to okay. have to figure out where, where that is. But, you know, that exposure against someone good, I mean, they're going to be able to, to catch and get that. So that's one of the things you need to worry about from that frame of position. Yeah. So we're here. Like really dig that in. There you go, there you go, there you go. Even if it has to be multiple movements, right? And now, yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, yeah, are you cool with that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. I can put some mat time on that. Um, really what you want is to be early so that you can get into your position before they flatten you out. Well, what but, first but a lot of times, you know, they're quick, you're slow, you, you know. It, right. That was one of the first things I realized as you started showing it was, I was probably overextending instead of letting it come to me. Don't overextend, don't reach out. Don't, don't reach out. Um, you know, this is, you know, the, the question of defensive jujitsu is a real interesting one. And a lot of times it really is just about hiding the things that are vulnerabilities. So even if I let you, worst case scenario, you're in, Right? I might just do this. Oh, sure. Here, turn this way. Yeah. See, I might just do this. Yeah. So, you know, what are you going to do? Because now point? I have to manage that. Oh, yeah. what, what are you going to do? And you're going to follow it. You just gave me a way out. Yeah. So even if it's... I have to make space for my own. Yeah, even if it's worst case scenario, you know, sometimes I'll just even do this. But, you know, eventually I'm trying to get that arm through so I can punch in and do that. But this prevents a lot of problems. You know, sure. um, some guys will try to come up over the top. Right. You know, I can either push up and come out, or you come over the top, I can push and move my hips out and create space. Yeah. So tracking, to, I do reach out when I'm connected to an arm and I'm tracking their arm wherever it goes. But you don't reach out to create the connection. You're not creating the connection. We're just kind of letting, letting them create the connection we're just for you. Here. We're just here. Yeah. And there it is. And there it is. So let's let's just try that. Okay. Okay. So this time. So even if you messed up, you're flat on your back. They got past you. Did everything wrong. Yeah. At least don't let them do this. Okay. Just so turn it in. in. A little. Just, just a little. Just a little paw. Way. Right on the bicep. Boom. Okay. And track. So it's a little bit softer than you think it okay, is. So if it, if you're it real it. firm, it's easier to pull out. Got it. If you're soft, it's more annoying because you can just you can just follow. Okay. Now sometimes you have to be rigid if you're really trying to dig in. Sure. But most of the time I'll just track. I'll just track. It's like, you know, where are you going? Here you go. If I come this way, pass it off, push, 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 push. push. There you go, there you go, now you're ready. There you go. So just don't let people cross face you. Don't let people. And I've been fighting that. I've definitely found some people are good at falling into that and really getting that shoulder in there. They are, and it can be hard. It can be very, very hard um, to get out against those strong guys. Well, let's continue on this path. Sure. I, I've got yeah, something yeah. else to, to, to go to. So that's one option. The other option, I mean, Roy does this. He's a huge fan. So you're coming in, you're coming in. 
He's a huge fan of this. Oh, sure. Cross arm. And because as you swim, to try to come over the top maybe, yeah. then he passes it. And you kept me anchored way away from you the whole yeah. time. So here, be ready to pass it. Okay. You know, that. if you try to recover and come back, I can, I can then come back in, and that's one way. Yeah. Or sometimes there's a sweep there. If you overcommit, then we can roll over. Okay. So be able to create that, that post. We are reaching out on this one because I need a straight arm for strength. If I'm bent, it's not a strong structure. Right. And I need to make it to where you need to swim or go over the top to get out. So as you're coming in, maybe I'm here. Pass it off. And then we'll jump. Yeah. So let's try to come in. Yeah. So yeah, nice seat clamp. So yeah, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Pass it. There's some homework there too. Yeah. I like that. And I and feel like the follow up for me is making sure not to lose connection afterwards. Like once I have that. Don't, don't lose connection. So it's, you know, the principle is one, don't let people in this space. Number two, don't let people cross space you if, yeah. you, if you can avoid it. Um, you know, those big aggressive guys, you can't, oh, it's too much mass. You can't stop the entirety of the mass, but you can pick a target and make that the obstacle that they now have to get around, even if it's just the arm. And that, that can happen also, um, what would be good? Like some people, I don't know if your guys do this, some people will kind of turn, so let me, let me do it to you. Yeah. So some guys, some guys like to do this. Um, Oh, and, sure. and drop that near side. I don't know if you guys do this, but this is this is pretty common to okay. get past. And then they need to square up. Sure. And there's your and there's a so if you do that to me, typically I'm looking to get a hold of your arm. So I'm coming in more. Yeah, you're so you're, here. you're coming here, right? Okay, so yeah, now I feel you're not letting that through. And I'm giving up a lot while I think about right. it. So, so I'm just trying to, I'm trying to control, I'm trying to just punch that through. Because again, it's preventing the crossfade. Yeah. Preventing you from coming here, but from that angle, I can just come in and catch. You know, it sort of doesn't matter at that point. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit. And then, come in and then we're through. But like this kind of thing, I'm always doing this. Okay. So yeah, trying to just intercept wrist, intercept arms, intercept cross To maintain spacing. that kind of this length between you and the box. To maintain that. Yeah. So even if I, you know, I don't have anything, but I can just, I can do this. You know, you're coming down. I'm going to do this. So I'm just trying to, maybe a slightly different challenge, but I'm not going to let you in that space. And then we're out. Yeah, and then we're out. So you have to create, sometimes, the obstacle you're creating by controlling an arm, that's not ultimately the escape, but it forces them to have to do something different than what they were doing because they have to get rid of that. So let's just reverse it. I mean, you can just kind of improvise. Like just try to control wrists, hands, punch, right? Because yeah, this changes everything. You know, if I turn this way, you're gonna punch that through. There you go, there you go. There's even a, and then you're through. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. We'll get some groups right away as I'm passing. Connections, 
the connections. Don't let me do what I'm gonna do. There you go, there you go. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Um, that, that's kind of how I play guard. Uh, or I should say, you know, pass prevention once people have passed. Um, you know, it's generally just about avoiding getting into the worst case scenario, which is flat on my back, letting them cross face me, letting them get a hold of my hip, get a hold of my the far side underhook, all that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and you mentioned, you asked if anybody in the gym kind of does that, and it's like, honestly, the people that I struggle with are the people who are big enough that they're literally just, I'm not a small guy, but I'm small enough to be just thrown, right? So, so they're just they, like grabbing and just going, oh, they throw your legs. Yeah, they, so while you're recovering, that is when the, is when I'm finding myself stuck. Okay, um, the next stage to that is uh, getting connected to them so they can't do that. Okay. So I don't know how, let's say you bump fists and you're, you're down, you're playing, you know, guard or whatever. Yeah, sure. Typically, so, what are you doing? Yeah, so a lot of times I'll start kind of, okay, why would you do first? Yeah, so we'll kind of, be in, and start to get here, and then pretty soon it's just, just a big throw. Okay, I feel it. So you've got full extension, kind of creating that cross connection. Yeah, I'm, I'm always looking to get some kind of connection to you. Right. I mean, it's not always going to work, but you know, I know you want you want to fling my legs. So if you grab me, I'm going to grab you. Oh sure. So the question is, who has the who's advantage? Who? who has the advantage? So you try to fling me, and it's a little harder. Yeah, so now I have to change. You know, we can play this kind of game. We can play, get to the hip. Yeah, that, that kind of thing. So, to prevent those fast guys from passing, you have to get connected. Okay. My rule is always, if someone grabs me, I grab them back. You Got know? It. If you're just operating here with no grips and you let me get my grips, then I want to start getting you. You get your grips, yeah? Yeah. And so now, okay, this is, I've got two dilemmas now. What do I do? Okay, I, I try to do this, but you know, you're, you're still connected. I'm still connected. So now I have to break, break grips. I have to you know, figure out how to deal with that and so on. And then don't just hang out there, like try to reclaim my grip again. Oh, sure. Yeah, you can fix that. Okay. So you're not gonna let me just operate with impunity. Once we found that, it's yeah. time to keep, stay on. It's time to stay on. Okay. And that's a deep rabbit hole. There's a lot of things you can do from those control positions, sweeps, you know, triangle sets up, setups, yeah. that kind of stuff. But I think for where you're at, get really comfortable having people pass your guard and just be on your side and just see how little you can do. How much you can shut defend, it down. How much you can defend just by hiding stuff, by pummeling, getting here, by preventing the cross face, controlling the arms. And then offensively, always think about connections, you know, with your feet. You know, my feet are always active. If you're trying to pass, like however you're trying to pass, right? You know, I'm always trying to get connections with my feet, even if I'm not using yeah. my arms. Yeah, there's, even though I'm way splayed out, I still feel plenty yeah. of connection that's controlling my, I'm trying to, options. You know, this becomes, this becomes the game, right? It's just, just trying to keep myself connected to your hips, maybe connected to your shoulder. Oh, it changed, you got passed, so now I'm the so next, now the next line of defense. Immediately, we're here. You know, I still have my foot in, so I can come back and I get my connection. And that foot dexterity, that's not something you can really teach. It just, it's a lot of map time. Sure. Um, white to blue, people don't use their feet too much. Blue to purple, you really learn to use your feet. But the earlier you can start creating those solid connections, you know, that's the key against those strong guys who are fast, you have to slow them down. Sure. So, come, come back to the middle. So we're gonna bump fists, you're just gonna get a connection right away. I like to get sleeves, sleeves, get your feet involved, 
Put your feet involved. There you go. So I've got three problems now. One, two, three, possibly four. So you gotta create some space. Yeah, look, you're on my hip. That's beautiful. So I've eliminated this, but you're still creating a problem. There you go. Maybe I break that and you're there. I'm trying to open you up here. Oh, 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 oh. And through, you gotta get your position. You gotta, you gotta know when to stop this, because I'm okay. not passing yeah. the line. Now you're into the next strategy, which is pummel, cross face. We're back to what we did. You try to grab your neck, and you're out. Does that help? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Do you have any questions on that? That's a lot, I mean, that's, you know. Which I'm excited, you know, with weather's getting nice, you know, those looking for a lot more travel, and I'm excited for your next adventure. Yeah. Uh, just means that I won't have as much time to catch up with you, so yeah. having lots of things that I just need to drill on yeah. is great. Really great. Mm -hmm.